Okay, good afternoon, afternoon, good day, or whatever time na pinapanood nyo to. Next topic natin is probability distribution. And tira-diretsyon tayo. Okay, probability distribution. Um, these are, uh, and their, a probability distribution and their associated formula and tables are allows us to, uh, sorry, allow us to solve a wide variety of problems sa mga, uh, in a way that is logical, no? Uh, hindi kasi tayo, pwede, as engineers, hindi tayo pwede based on emotions, based on uh, different factors, but uh, we are driven by uh, algorithms, driven by data. Um, meron tayong backup, meron tayong reference, meron tayong uh, pinaghuhugutan kung saan tayo, ano, no? kung paano natin na-compute ang isang bagay, okay, or isang computation natin. Hindi tayo pwedeng basta-basta nag, um, meron na agad because wala na basa mo lang once wala kang reference na matibay na nagsasabi na hindi talaga uh, pwede yan pero you insist because you believe na yun yung tama yun yung totoo pero hindi ganun no um, we should be depending sa mga data sa mga na meron tayo so, gaya na pag-usapan natin sa uh, statistics and yung probability distribution uh, gina- ginagamit natin to para mas maging logical yung approach natin sa pag-solve ng mga problems. Okay, um, meron tayong example dito. They are used to generate sampling plans. Uh, paano, uh, kung natandaan nyo, uh, sample, sampling technique na ginamit ninyo sa statistics is yung slovings. Uh, predict yields, kung gaano kalaki yung magiging productivity ng isang, let's say, manufacturing industry. Arrive at process, ca- uh, process capabilities. I determine the odds in games and chance of many other applications. Um, marami pang application to, especially sa mga uh, ginagamit ng math. As long as meron tayong information or meron tayong um, mga ingredients to predict yung mismo mga magiging outcome niya. No? And also, uh, mga example natin dito, most dito, ito na yung mga lumalabas sa board exam. No? Kaya, um, uh, possible na baguhin nila yung mismong manner or yung example, pero the concept behind is still the same. Okay, babalik at babalik pa rin tayo na pag sinabi natin probability, that is equal to event over yung outcomes. Okay? Lagi nyo tatandaan to. Okay, e dito at dito pa rin tayo babalik. Okay? Medyo may ibang approach lang tayo na ginagamit. May mga ibang techniques tayong ginagamit. But still, babalik pa rin tayo sa pinaka-basic na yan. Um, one type ng probability distribution is hypergeometric. Uh, it is basically... Distribution probability, its formula is simple. The number of favorable events divided by the number of total, total events. Favorable, big sabihin kung ano yung success na part. No? Um, for example, sa favorable, uh, ilan yung na-shoot? Total sa uh, uh, versus dun sa total na uh, shots na, na kinumpute natin. So, let's say dun sa yung three-point play or uh, three-point game, di ba? meron dun parang around 5 balls kada station then 5 points yun 5 times ano uh, 25 balls tapos yung pinakadulo di ba parang 2 points each at ayan pero let's say na lang na uh, yung number of bola sa pagtira ni Stephen 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 ano pa yung ano yun sa so Curry <laughs> Stephen ba yun or Stephen Curry um nangyayari doon ay ilan yung na shoot niya versus doon sa total na number sa 25 out of 25 okay uh, take note natin yan. Then, may example tayo dyan para natin uh, gagamitin yan. No? It can be described as the true basic probability distribution of attributes. Okay, uh, para hindi, hindi, hindi na natin ano, no? mapatagal pa. Uh, ito na yung example ng hypergeometric. In a poker hand card game, 5 cards are drawn from 52 card deck. Find the probability of getting 3 aces and a pair of kings. Okay, take note natin to 3 aces. So, A, A, Okay, and then meron tayong king. Ito yung target natin. Three aces, kahit anong combination ng uh, aces, kahit hearts, clubs, or diamonds, and both then sa, same din sa, sa kings. Kahit anong, um, uh, tawag natin doon, kingdom nila manggaling. Okay? So, take note natin yan. Um, ito yung pinaka-outcome na gusto natin makuha. Okay, uh, probability para makuha natin. Ang sabi natin, total of number of outcomes yung nasa baba. Ano yung total number of outcomes natin? Yung naunahin natin, meron tayong 52 cards. Tapos, ang pinaka-target natin makuha is only 5 cards. Kaya ang gagawin natin, gagamitan natin ang combination of 5. 
52 combination of 5 because out of 52 cards dun sa deck is limang card lang yung kailangan natin. Okay? Kaya kapag ginamit natin yan, uh, 52, C, 5, meron tayong total of, ilan to? Uh, 2.5 million or around 2.6 million combi uh, combination ng limang card lang. Pero, hindi kasi natin gusto na lahat ng card. Meron tayong condition na susundin which is dapat 3 aces and a pair of king. kings. Okay? Uh, paano natin gagawin? Yung aces muna and king is magkahiwalay. Okay? Sa aces natin, meron tayong 4 aces lang sa loob nung mismong 52 deck. And kailangan lang natin doon, kailangan, si kailangan, de, kukunin, di ba, mga ganun, is tatlo lang. Okay? And, times, ilang king, meron tayong 4 kings sa deck, tarong kukunin lang natin, dalawa. And this is how hypergeometric works. Okay, yung total uh, favorable, yung nasa taas, and yung nasa baba is yung total number of outcomes. Kaya kapag kinumpit natin yan, 4C3 times 4C2 over 52C5, that is equal to 1 over 108290 or sa decimal, Oops, teka lang ah. Uh, shift eng para zero yung exponent. Mm -hmm. Tatlong zero. Zero point zero 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 nine two three four. Percent na to ah. Naka percent. Okay. Ang baba no? Okay. Kung titingnan natin, ayan. Masyadong mababa yung probability na makakuha tayo ng ganyang uh, pair. Okay. Kaya yung mga full house sa poker... Ah, uh, ganito, ganito yung nangyari. Especially kung ace. Pero kapag sinabing any kind of full house, dun tayo magkakaroon ng medyo mabahabang computation. Because, ah, uh, ikukumpit natin bawat combination ng tatlong, ah, uh, card, tatlong number, tsaka sa bawat face card. Masyadong madami. Okay? Pero, um, eto muna. Dapat, ah, uh, begin. Okay, so, pwede kayo mag-try na, let's say, um, any jacks okay uh, apat na jacks isang ayan jack 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 makuha mo yung apat na jack tapos any any yung card dito because uh, uh quads naman to no any any yung pair niya basta, basta maging hindi mo siya quads pa rin naman yung labas natin any probability na makuha ka ng quads okay so try natin ah uh, meron tayong 4c4 kasi kukunin natin lahat ng jacks tapos um Doon sa taas, okay, syempre, yung baba, meron tayong 52C5 kasi di man naman yung kukunin natin. And then, dito kasi, ang uh, maganda dito, doon sa remaining na card, which is, uh, ano yung remaining card na natin? Lahat, except, Jack. Ilan na lang yon Syempre, kung 52 yung deck mo, nakuha mo niya apat, 48 na lang. Okay, so 48, combination of 1. Kasi isa lang naman yung kukunin mo doon, out of 48. Okay? Kaya, para makakuha ka, anong probability na makakuha ka ng uh, quads of heart, uh, quads ng jack is 4C4 times 48C1 over 52C5. Uh, 1 over 54,145. Okay? Or yung uh, percentage niya is... 0 0.0086 0 0.001847 percent okay, so. ganyan lang din so medyo mababa lang din no? pero unlike dito sa ano natin no? sa probability natin no? because uh, ano yung nagpataas ng percentage na yung itong pang fifth card okay kasi isang ano lang um, kahit ano okay, pero kapag sinabi mo dyan na ace Tingnan natin. Pag dapat, uh, apat na jack, tapos any ace, ang mangyayari ito, mababago to Ang magi magiging ano yan, 4C1. Okay? So, try nyo, try nyo. Uh, kung ta uh, ano bang mangyayari, tatas ba or bababa yung percentage ng probability. Okay? So, ganun lang naman yun, no? guys. I-try nyo mag-solve uh, ng mga cases. Okay? Okay? Uh, 
ask niyo yung classmate niyo, okay, uh, oh, sige, nakinig ka ba kay Rodi niya? Ano yung probability na ganito lalabas? Ano yung probability ng uh, Royal Flush? Okay? I remember yung sa ano, no? 007. A deck of cards. Next tayo, no? A deck of... A deck. A deck of cards contains 20 cards. Okay. Um, dito, uh, four stone, no? Hindi ito yung normal deck of cards. Uh, pag sinabi 20, ibig sabihin hindi ito yung 52 cards na so mayroong apat na, ano, no? Apat na cards. Sorry, apat na kingdom. Meron daw six red cards and 14 black cards. Uh, five cards are drawn randomly without replacement. What is the probability that exactly four cards are, four red cards are drawn? Okay, so probability. Sabi natin dyan, kunin mo natin syempre yung pinaka outcome, which is 20. Kukuha tayo ng total of 5 lang, kasi 5 cards daw yung nadrawn natin. And then, out of 6 cards, 6 red, ah sorry. Out of 6 reds, kukuha lang tayo ng 4. And syempre, Ang natira, kahit ano, wala naman nasabi. Ang sabi lang dito, exactly 4 red cards. Which is, kung titignan natin, yung natira kasi, is, ilan? Ilan yung natira? Ay. Sige, uh, I'll give you, ano muna, time. No? So, pwede nyo naman i-post. Pero, ayan, sige. Habang, ano, mas maganda kasi parang live tayo, no? Yes. Dapat 14 C 1 na lang. So, para madali lang yan, makita mo. 6 plus 14 equals 20. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Ganun lang. <laughs> Makakatawa itong hypergeometric. Pero madami siyang na, ano, no, uh, application. Okay, pakisold na rin. Para na sold ka na siya. Um, 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.01 ay sorry 0. 0.00 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.0135 or that is 13% ah sorry 0. 0.13% Next style. Okay, a small voting district has 101 female voters and 95 male voters. A random sample of 10 voters is drawn. What is the probability of exactly 7 voters will be female? Now, uh, voters. Meron tayo 7 female. F, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. Then, meron tayo, syempre, kung 10 yung voters natin, meron tayong tatlong male. Okay. Paano natin gagamitin yung uh, hypergeometric dito? Pro probability, syempre, yung total muna. Sabi natin, 10 voter daw yung kukunin natin. Pero, ilan yung total? Yung total nila is 101 plus 95 or 196. Kukuha lang tayo ng 10. Ganun lang yun. Then, Ah, uh, kailangan merong pitong babae. So, kung pito yung babae, ilan yung babae lahat? 101. Kukuha lang tayo ng 7 times ilan yung lalaki? 95. Kukuha lang tayo ng uh, 3. So, baka hanapin nyo kung nasan yung 3 dyan. Ito na. Kaya ako, kaya ako ginawa yan. Okay. Paki-compute. So, ito yung ano, no, uh, sampling natin. Application of sampling. Okay, that will be 0 0.13 or 13% sa lahat, sa total ng um, combination, possible na magkaroon ng pitong babae out of 10 na ang probability nun is 13%.
Okay, binomial distribution. Aha. Try natin. Binomial distribution. Okay, and nakaharang ako, no? Sige, uh, wait lang, guys. Uh, cut muna natin to. And, na 15 minutes. Next video na lang muna tayo.